Hi everyone, I'm finally going to share um, the True Blood tags that I received um, from the participants. Uh, and this is a swap that I hosted on my blog as well as my YouTube channel. So I'm going to show you each person's tag and then the goodies that they included. So many of you did. Thank you so much. It was very, very sweet. Totally unnecessary, but very appreciated. So the swap was um, to use a number 8 Tim Holtz die, tag die but not to use manila paper. So the challenge was to use something other than manila. So I believe this is paper that was painted. Oh, I'm sorry, this is from Francis. And Francis had um, Arlene Fowler. She used a bottle cap with a metal flower underneath. And I believe this is crackle accented with an A inside and some I think these are um, recollection roses and some butterflies that are cut out of metallic paper and some pretty sequin trim with a lace underlay and there's like a mesh addition in the background so it's really nice texture. So this was from Francis and Francis sent me some goodies in her package. Thank you so much and I kept them together like this has been a challenging circumstance but those of you who are in the swap already know so she sent me one of her recipe uh, cards from your paper pantry I was not in her group and I really appreciate that this is for let's see what this is for chocolate uh oh this might be something that I might have to make right now chocolate bread pudding so that was very sweet thank you so much Francis and then in addition this kind of floored me I thought Did this fall in but look at the cool spell spellbinders that she sent me. I love that. That is so sweet. Thank you so much. I don't have this shape, and I don't think I've ever seen it. So thank you so much, Francis. So that was from Francis, and this is this was her tag. So I'm just gonna move this off to the side. The next one is from Carol, and she included her information on a card, and it's my paper stash. Let's see, mypaperstash.blogspot.com, um, and she used metallic paper that she embossed. I think this is a Tim Holtz embossing folder, and then she also used uh, the uh, frame from the tag die, and included the True Blood, and then this, which is, you have to see it to believe it, is a little booklet so much detail it's fabulous that opens up and it has individual pictures of the various characters how cool is that so that was fabulous really thinking outside the box intense love so that was from Carol and in her package she sent a stash of vintage envelopes. Thank you so much. Those are some beautiful um, wine t uh, tool. Thank you, Carol. Let's see, next is a uh, tag from Julie Walters, and Julie uh, used burlap instead of paper uh, or instead of manila envelopes, and I believe she used. Um, something to make it um, stabilized. And it seems like there's a little bit of a shimmer. I believe she has a video out, so um, for those who have the videos, I'll include links uh, below. She has some seam binding and raffia, or a twine in the hole, and this is Sam Merlot, and there's her little, I'm a social animal that is so funny. <laughs> and this really cool button, so that was really cool. So this is from Julie. Thank you, Julie. And she included some really cool, a, a beautiful card, first of all. Look at that. And some really cool uh, ribbon. Really wide. I think it's an inch and a half grow grain ribbon. This reminds me of those um, changing booths on the beach in Europe. It is so cool. I might have to do something with that. Thank you so much, Julie. So that was from Julie. 
And this next one is from Anika. And she is Coco Martha on YouTube. And she included a nice note to me. I think I'm, I think I'm the one... Um, I call her kids Coco Beans because she's Coco Martha. So it's a nice card that she included. And her tag is painted, I think, in black acrylic or black gesso. And she has a dimensional lips. With, I love that, with a piercing. True blood and some giant red bling along the side. Really cool. She also used some burlap for texture. And I think she used some of the shimmer sprays. I'm not sure which one it is. Um, but I believe she also has a video, so I'll include a link below. And there's her information on Coco Martha, the artiste. So thank you, Nika. The next one is from... Oh, and I think I just got something stuck. Um, let me just grab the next one so I, I don't want to damage it. So, um, because I asked people to think outside the box, this really floored me and I was genuinely, like, obviously pleasantly surprised, but this tag is made out of glass. And this is from Dana. She um, used paper as the background, but this is totally cut from glass, so I'm assuming she used some glass cutting tools. And how they all survived the shipping to me is not surprising because they were packed really nicely, but how they survived not one, but hopefully two trips out is just amazing. She has some um, black roses and love and... Uh, the Lover Tolliver, is it? In the glass. So cool. So that was from Dana. Glass and... Let's see what it... And they were packed in bubble wrap and um, paper, newspaper. It was just very well done. So the next one is from Kimberly. And Kimberly chose um, Alcide, who... I, I'm sorry, is that not the yummiest image? Well, if you're a gay man or a heterosexual woman, he's just, I don't know, gorgeous. I guess I would throw all the vampires away and just keep him. <laughs> Animal magnetism, oh, so cute. The little epoxy sticker, and the background is all lace. There's some beautiful trim and um, silk flower with it looks like a um, bling that also has lace in the background. And there's Alcide's alter ego, the beautiful wolf that he turns into in her little pocket with her information. Fairy tales with paper on YouTube. And a tool. Let's see what Kimberly included in her package. Some goodies which are... Um... <laughs> oh my gosh. She included this card and some, um, I put it back in there. She, <laughs> how cool is this? That is just so cool. That's um, Eric, and I love the little epoxy lots. Just great job. And look at this cool charm that she sent me. And some purple stick pins, one of my favorite colors. Thank you so much. That was very sweet of you. So that was from Kimberly. And this next one is from Liz. Elizabeth. And she included um, some ribbons for each of the participants. Ooh, I don't want to rip it. And stuck. And I believe we use the same exact same image as the one I used. But I think she covered it either in triple thick or um, some kind of glaze. It's not quite crackled, but you see that there's an. And I believe she used foam board, my, my, if I'm correct. Oh no, she recycled. This is, looks like recycled cork board. 
There's her YouTube channel is MS Liz 729. It's a cute ribbon with some bling and flowers and this giant heart. Like Suki, poor girl. She has to decide between all the men throwing themselves at her. If only, right? And let's see. Liz's package was so heavy I couldn't quite figure out what was in it, but she had included a bunch of goodies. She um, sent me a whole stash of papers, and I really like the color combinations because they're kind of masculine. Very pretty, thank you. And then look at all these goodies. She um, gave me some extra ribbon and baubles and some laces and ribbons. Oh, oh my gosh. I forgot to give you another tag. You know what? I might send this tag to Amy then. Because um, Amy was asking if um, she can send out her tags, which were actually tiles, directly to each of your girls. And then last but not least, and I'm trying not to rip the little bat that's attached in the back. Okay, here we go. I'm always afraid of pulling something too hard and then having a rip. This is for, um, uh, come on, Batty. You're so cute. I don't want to hurt you. This is from Stacy Ann, and her YouTube channel is Bitchy Cat one and she uh, made it out of paper that is actually the print of the um, Dead Until Dark, that's, I believe that's the book for fourth season. So that was really cool because at first I'm like, wait, it looks like Share of Deer, um, Bud Dearborn, and it totally is. So she used the um, book print from the actual book. Well, there's a way to recycle. She has this lovely uh, rosette and some bling. And I know that some of the bling altered. Uh, some um, had red and I know some had pearls. I think these are recollection leaves and all the characters from the show and the pocket is where the baddie bat was living which is really cool love that so those are the true blood tags thank you everyone for being so patient um, for waiting for them to all come in for waiting for them to all go out and I believe that uh, when I tracked everything that I reshipped the other day, um, they have all been scanned and should be on their way to each one of you as you are watching this. So, thank you again, everyone, for participating. Thank you for all of the goodies that were included as extras. Um, totally unnecessary, but absolutely appreciated. If anyone has any questions, um, don't forget to stop by uh, the uh, channel links below to each of the girls who participated so you can check out how they made each of their tags. Thank you so much for watching.